let's take a look at using the gradebook in Blackboard Ultra as an instructor. You can navigate to the gradebook in the top menu of your course, and within the gradebook you'll see different tabs for overview, gradable items, grades, and students. In the overview tab, you'll see a box at the top that says needs grading, where you'll be able to access the individual items that need grading, and below that a needs posting box, where you can post grades directly from there. In the gradable items tab, you'll see column views, where you can quickly look at the item, the category, the due date, the grading status, and post the grade if you need to. The three dots on the right hand side will allow you to have some different specific options for individual assignments. If you click into the Grades tab, you'll see a table view that you might be familiar with, where you have columns of the items and rows of the individual students. So you can see the submission status by student of individual items. You can sort by the individual graded item, and if you click into that item, you have a few different options to choose from in terms of your viewing results or settings, and you can also post grades or add or edit exemptions or exceptions for individual items. And finally, the Students tab allows you to view the individual students and see their overall grade, set accommodations, message the students, or view their progress in the course if you have progress tracking turned on. Here in the Status column, you can also see whether they've submitted an item, if the submission has been complete, and whether or not they've viewed the grade or feedback as well. So back in the Overview tab, let's look at the interface for grading. Next to the name of this assignment that you want to grade, you'll see a Grade Now button with the number of student submissions that need grading next to it. If you click on that, it will open up the assignment that the student has submitted. On the right-hand side, you have options for adding overall feedback on this submission. This is the content editor, so you can add almost any type of content there, as well as audio or video feedback. Below that, there's a grading rubric area, so if you have a rubric associated with the assignment, you can add those here and add individual feedback for the different criteria in your rubric. You can also close that pane and simply annotate the document directly if that's what they've submitted. You could add comments or draw on the document directly. You can see the final grade up top, and there's a few different places you can post the grade. If you scroll down at the bottom, there's an option to post this grade and post all grades. The three dots in the top right corner allow you to post the grade or override, delete the submission or exclude it. And if you close out of that grading interface, you'll see that that assignment one is now in the needs posting category, and I can click post now and select to post the grade. Now, if I navigate into the students tab and open that student that I just submitted for, I can see that there's one additional place that I can add feedback for the students. In that assignment one, I can add feedback for the student here in a text box. And this would be on the overall assignment, not the individual submission, but they'll all see it all in the same place. There's also an ability to add grader notes here that would just be viewable by the individuals grading it, so the instructor or the teaching assistant. To see what it looks like when a student has viewed the feedback or grade, um, if I click into the student tab of the gradebook and open that individual student, I can now see that the Assignment 1 has been reviewed, and it shows me, when I hover over it, the date and timestamp that the student reviewed it. So those are the basics of navigating the gradebook as an instructor in Blackboard Ultra. We hope that this has been a helpful introduction to some of Blackboard Ultra's tools. If you're an instructor who needs help in Ultra, contact UAA's instructional designers at uaa underscore design at alaska.edu or book an appointment by visiting bit.ly slash UAA underscore design. If you're a student who needs help in Ultra, contact UAA's Technical Support Center by emailing uaa.techsupport at alaska.edu or calling 907-786-4646.